Welcome viewers, Gloring here, back with another episode of the Battle for Middle-Earth 1 Good Campaign. And now we're going into Minas Tirith. Minas Tirith, the home of Gondor's throne, is the last hope of men to stand against the darkness of Sauron. Yeah. So this is probably again in my top and my favorite uh, missions, and it's also, I believe, the second to last one. I think after this, all that's left is the are is the Black Gate. Although there technically you can go back and finish all the missions you don't get to do, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. It makes it too easy if you get all the bonuses. Too bad you don't get anywhere near that many. It would make this game way cooler, except that it would probably crash or something with that many separate the entities. Of to are approaching. Record. We must prepare the city. Okay, so whoop, why can't I move? Okay, second there. Keys would my arrow. Keys. They did say they had a very great store long prepared. Apparently they were telling the truth. In the book they said that. Man. Arrow keys. Not sure what's going on. I feel like they're not responding to something. Well, they mostly want an archery range. For the... For the... Thillion Rangers, if I can get them. Oh, might as well get all the buildings. I have quite a few build plots. Yeah, I think that's everything. Well, everything important. I don't really need a well or a cure. Let's call it Heroic Statue. And here's Faramir Army. Faramir's Army. What? So you guys can get on the walls. And you guys, let's see, I don't need to, yeah, okay, so I don't need to keep all, any of my guys alive, so, any of my heroes alive, so I can just put them up there. And, oh, right, I'm already at maximum. So, I can't capture these things, they're just, I don't know, like, they're the things that the enemy sets up at. Also, it's rather annoying that I now have to just wait for six minutes. I don't think there's anything that I can do. Well, except build things, build things along the walls, but other than that, I don't think there's anything I can do. In fact, I may just cut to where the enemy comes in, because I would literally be sitting here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna cut. One second. Uh, let's see. I think, do we get reinforcements? No, I don't think we get reinforcements before they attack. There's no forlong the fat or, uh, Imra here. Prince Imra here. Or, sorry, Imra Hill. No Plargir or Lasarna. Don't know why I can't go quite into the bottom right corner. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna cut. So see you after the Mordor. Well, just before the Mordor forces arrive. Okay, back, and as you can probably see, there are now 30 seconds left. So I literally just scrolled around the map for like five and a half minutes. <laughs> I mean, I think the blacksmith said it was upgraded, yeah, so I can get that, but nothing really happened. That's it's kind of annoying that they have such a long timer with nothing to do. But oh, oh, can I get the Gondor Stone ever? So, dark 
they automatically use darkness, the darkness power. And nah, I waste it. Easily to beat these this first wave. So hopefully I'll actually lose some units so I can get some better ones and upgrade them. Whoops. Wait, what? Why do I have this guy set to hotkey three? I don't know. Given that I didn't have a one or a two. And the first orcs are here. Why aren't you shoot? Why do you not have your arrow? An arrow. The, the farms at this level were supposed to have an arrow down. Also, there is a bonus objective to get a hero to level 8, which in this case I think it shall be Gandalf. Because he is at level 7. Catapult is focusing on use these siege towers. I don't think they're in the game except for in this mission. So, but if they get up to the walls and then they're not destroyed, um, enemy troops can just walk up on the wall and like the real siege towers. So it's kind of important to kill them before they get to the wall. I'm not sure why you can be still if it leveled up. Trebuchets can attack the siege towers and do pretty good damage to them, so you can usually take, take them out with the trebuchets. But they do have a lot of health. And let's see, what else do they have? But it's a lot. I mean, if these guys beating on them, doing like 200 damage a second, it's taking like 20 seconds. Wait. because apparently he can one-shot them, which I didn't realize. And I heard the eesh thing, which I thought meant they're sending in another wave. Oh, just, ah, attack trolls. Not many of them, though. And the Astari Light one shots in all of Nazgul mounted or or whether on the fell beast or not, I'm pretty sure, so should be able to be able to pretty easily go out and kill this. Oh, got it. Nice. Wrong time. Of course. And the starlight one shot. Oh. What? Is that the witch king or something? No? That's weird. Well, obviously I am. But Although that wasn't that challenging. 
Okay, I thought I told you to attack these guys. Why are you attacking them? Oh no, Pippin's dying. Oops, I die. Didn't even give me a pop-up thing. That's weird. Thought it should have like had a pop-up at the top of the screen. Pippin is dead. Does it not have that in this game? Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, I was using the Hobbit recently for the games, and I must say, I'm rather disappointed with Well, I'm not disappointed because I didn't expect much out of it, but... I got exactly what I expected, that it would be totally messed up. Really did not follow the The whole thing about like the dragon sickness on the treasure was just I don't think it made it any better and it definitely was not at all. The I feel like there were way too many orcs and way too few um, soldiers like or good people. I feel like there was just no way they could have possibly won that. There was way too out. I think Tolkien was at least slightly realistic. And there are some minor things. Um, why are you guys like slow track? Um, oh yeah. One of the biggest question is, questions is why on earth is Dane Scottish? I think the dwarves were Scottish. Wow. Although it was kind of cool, because there were quite a few things in, like, the Battle of the World that were funny in the movie, I thought. Um, like, the bats? Like, the bats were not in the original Lord of the Rings movie, and this, this game came out, like, ten years before that movie was actually made. Before The Hobbit was ever made. So... And also the werewolves. Um, they were mentioned in the book, but never shown, but they almost look like the worm from Battle of the Earth, too. Possibly this game, I don't know if it's in this game. Okay, the Nazgul are coming. Hopefully the archers can hold them off, but they will have a couple of trouble shades. Oh yeah, and they also never solved the problem of Alfred. He just like escaped as far as we know this guy. At least uh Tolkien wrapped that up. He said that the master like escaped with a bunch of money into the wind and just then died. You are a highly effective anti capital person. that are invincible? Things that are basically just
you with the other ones. Actually, I probably didn't even need to do that. Try this. Bubba. Alright, Siege Tower. Um, I think. Yeah. You can usually get in with it when you're trying to chase. Like somewhere else. Nice. You can't hit anything, but. Siege tower up. That could get annoying if they can actually get on the walls. Therefore, prevent them from actually getting on the walls. Because all I have on the walls are archers. Siege, yeah, these siege towers are pretty much the most dangerous. They are. I mean, the Nazgul can be annoying, but only in them supplementing the siege towers because they can. They can't really get too close to my archers. My archers will destroy them. Yeah, you killed all those. Guys. Can you? Are you too far? Likely, if you're watching this, you've already played the game. That's why. That's how we found this. And you, Gandalf, and Starlight, because. Does he do? Slight area of effect or something? Yes, he does. Level 1 orcs. Oh, 
There's, they still died. Okay, there are siege towers. Die. Where is Grand? Ah. So, this is Grand. Say hi, Grand. 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 Okay. Oh, that was it. If you don't speak control, that was high. Yeah, so Grand is this giant hammer that showed up in the movie, and, um, well, it wasn't really mentioned in the book, at least it was more assisted by the Witch King's sorcery than it was just the brute power, but Grand is named after the Hammer of Morgoth, the Dark Lord who it's Sauron is a servant of. Giant, and they made a giant battering ram designed to destroy the Minas Tirith gates. Hopefully I can beat it before it gets to the gates because it does do a good amount of damage. There was, this was how they finally got through the gates in the, or in the movie. Okay, you're not going anywhere near where I'm just Mostly because the Witch King used his magic. Although maybe that's because I'm playing this um, easy. 